Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about interrupt service routine and interrupt vector table. Let's start with interrupt service routine. It is called ISR. So interrupt service routine is a software routine that is invoked in response to an interrupt. That will be a precise answer if you were asked in an interview about interrupt service routine introduction. Next, for every interrupt, there must be an interrupt service routine or interrupt handler. Whenever a computer, a microcontroller or microprocessor receives an interrupt, then it search for the interrupt service routine associated with it so that it can decide what to do next. Next, for every interrupt, there is a fixed location in memory that holds the address of its interrupt service routine. And this is where it goes after getting the interrupt. Here is a quick visualization of the interrupt service routine. Let's suppose this is time on a graph and the program execution starts. So initially the program is at main and then the program jumps from main to interrupt service routine and then from interrupt service routine to main and then again repeating the same processes from main to interrupt service routine and this process is continuously done so fast that we observe that the main function and interrupt service routine are running in parallel because the time gap between these two events is very small. This is a time graph. So they are continuously running up and down. So the program is able to execute all the functions inside main as well as inside interrupt service routine simultaneously. This was all about interrupt service routine that you need to keep in mind for an interview. Now let's talk about interrupt vector table. Interrupt vector table is the table of memory locations which hold the address of various interrupt service routines that is called interrupt vector table there can be multiple interrupts in a microcontroller and for all those interrupts there will be interrupt service routines and those interrupt service routines would be associated with a specific memory locations and the collection or the table of all those memory locations is called interrupt vector table for example, the interrupt vector table has 0000 location for reset interrupt and this is activated when reset pin is pressed. Okay, so that's all about ISR and IVT. I hope you have understood them well. If you have any doubt, ask me in the comment section. That's it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you all the very best for your job interviews.